Hello folks, Mortimari here and welcome back to my uh, Soul Mask build showcase video. And uh, the last time I showed you the little build I made at the other spot in the wood uh, section, uh, well the starter area, so it's made out of wood. And after that I moved out to this place. So let me show you first of all where we are on the map and then I will try to show you, show you the build. So yeah, I am here close to that barbarian camp up here. Uh, this is already yeah, mid to higher end game, not uh, the complete end game because that's uh, I didn't even reach that yet. But it took me a while to travel through this area and find this spot. I looked around for nice spots to build something. And when I got to this lake, I thought, man, this looks beautiful. Let's destroy it with a nice build. And I did, went ahead and made a build. So yeah, I will be trying to show you guys the build in a couple of minutes. But first of all, let me explain you what I did and how it started out. I wanted to build something which fits the theme of the game. So I was thinking Aztec pyramid light thing. And yeah, if you know me and you know me from other games, you know that building pyramids is just something I like to do. I love it. I like the idea of the pyramid. And I wanted to do something similar up here. So what I did, I took out Excel. You know, bad idea Excel. And I started putting some cells together to see how I could achieve it. Because I wanted a step pyramid like uh, like they have in the Aztec and Mayan and Incas uh, areas. Uh, it's not really a straight pyramid like in Egypt. It's a step pyramid. I wanted to make something similar. So I started with uh, trying something in Excel and the first I will try to find the images back because it took some iterations to arrive at the final floor plan I have. Uh, yeah, I started with a simple step pyramid and changed a few designs because I didn't like it. Then I started building what I had in Excel and I didn't really like how it looked and I changed more things and, and yeah, it took me I think two or three weeks to complete it. And at the end of the build, well, somewhere in, in, in the middle section of the build, I did get some help from uh, Reto, which is a friend who plays on this server as well. He brought me some uh, more materials because I was still a yeah, mid-tier mid level guy and getting all the materials was taking me ages. So yeah, let's go and check out the build itself. So, from here, I think it looks ugly. And I will admit that, but that's because I had to... Uh, put a wall all around the build because I was keeping getting attacks from barbarians. I am close to a barbarian, little barbarian camp here. There is an elite, um, what's it called, alligator here. And I'm close to this barbarian camp. And I kept getting invasions because I was producing so much stuff here to build stuff that I was, yeah, generating threat and people started attacking my base. They destroyed it a couple of times. And yeah, we, we really set up a wall around it. it, it yeah, I had to. I do think the wall does really fit the theme. It, it, to me, it feels more medieval than Aztec or Incan or whatever. But yeah, I had to at some point because uh, getting uh, stuff getting destroyed was just... Yeah, it was ruining my fun. So let's see. Uh, things will spawn in bit by bit because it's a huge build. Let me tell you that. The floor plan is, I think, about the whole area of the base pyramid itself is about 34 by 34 blocks. Um, yeah, and I extended that quite a bit. But yeah, this is, uh, how should I call it, a gatehouse. So when you arrive here, you get the gatehouse first. Uh, normally they, these doors should be closed, but okay. I leave them open until I have an invasion. And from here, the build actually begins. So it's, it's spawning in. Let me wait here a couple of seconds so everything shows up. Redies, this is actually the main, main entrance. Yeah, it's, it's going to take a couple of seconds. You know what? There. There it is. Of course, now it will start raining. So the step pyramid is right in front of you. You can clearly see the, the three steps and then the top. Uh, this is the... Well, I hate this. It's starting to rain. You know what? I am in the rainy area. So maybe I should wait until the rain is over. Until I continue with the tour around the build. But I can already give you an idea of the size of the whole thing. Let me climb onto these walls. This is normally not here. I added this for the purpose of the showcase. So I will walk around the whole area and try to get you a view from the other side as well. I know I will be redoing this when it's not no longer raining, but for now I can show you around. So yeah, it's, it's quite huge. I will run from this side to the other side of the build 
and that will, should give you an idea of uh, how big this, th this thing is. I do agree, it's, yeah, it's a little bit too much. Um, I will show you once we get to the inside, it's, it's a little bit too much. I, I should have built it a little bit smaller, but you know me and building small, it doesn't go together all that well. Yeah, I still need to add a gatehouse in here as well. I want the, the gatehouses on all four, all four sides of the boat. Um, this here is broken, the tower. I think that's strange. I noticed another tower which is broken too, so I might have had an invasion at some point, which I missed. Would be strange. Here I need another gatehouse too, just to protect my build and, yeah, have something, some kind of a barrier. So, yeah, this area is nice too. And this is the last side of the build. Here on this side I have I had some issues because I didn't see that there was an, uh, an elite alligator up there in the corner of this uh, section and that causes uh, some problems with the build. I could not build in that section. So I had to f yeah, mess around with walls going in, the alligator is up there and I cannot extend my build up in that section. And then there was this and then we had another invasion because this was connected this broke so i had to end up doing it like this so this this side of the wall is a little bit janky so we're back where we started so you can see it's 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 a huge build i will show you around uh, a little bit more in detail when the rain is gone and then you can have a look at the outside and the inside and i will try to explain you why i did a few things and uh, yet yeah, some remnants of uh, my builds which are no longer being used, but the idea was there. I will try to explain that when the sun is there. So I will be talking to you guys in a couple of minutes for you, me and probably in another second for you. Okay, welcome back. It finally stopped raining. So um, yeah, I showed you the main entrance. This is a little side entrance where I don't know if I will keep that here or I will move that so it's symmetrical on all four sides. But this kind of allows me to quickly get out and go into that little barbarian tent camp up there and deter that guy if necessary. Although I already got all the information out of it that I could have. So on this section I have mostly everything related to farming. So I have my a couple of fishing uh, traps. I have all my farming plots with all my different plants. I have my granaries. I have my fertilizer buckets. I have my uh, well and a few other things as well. There is the honey, the beehive thingy, and there is also a, uh, what's it called? The pen with the uh, turkeys. I do not have a capybara one here. I didn't really find the need for it yet. Um, up here, I also have a little campfire. No idea why, but sometimes they just came outside to dance. So I put a campfire out here and now everyone seems to be liking it up here. Uh, I do have my excavation pit and stuff like that up here where people will be uh, collecting stuff as well in the area. And yeah, that's this section. Um, let me show you first the outside of the build. So as I mentioned, the whole floor plan is actually 34 by 34. And that's actually measured up until this point. So this, all this area is additional uh, uh, to that 34 by 34. And that's expansions I did over, over the time. So my main idea was first to actually build a once big pyramid, 34 by 34, but I, I, yes, I didn't like it. So I destroyed it back again and then changed it again. And I ended up with this little design where the main pyramid is, I think 26 by 26 blocks. So the main pyramid is 26 by 26 blocks from corner to corner. And I added these four little satellite pyramids up here with some nice viewing areas as well on the, four, on the external corners. And the idea was actually first to put a, um, a bonfire up here because I built this too big. Um, the bonfire in the, is in the center at the bottom and it doesn't really reach the, the corners of the pyramid. So yeah, that's why I had to put a bonfire up there as well to have these uh, farming pots uh, ready and stuff like that. So other than that, the four sides are kind of mirrored um, with the exception of this corner where I probably did already explain it. There is an uh, an lead alligator up there, so I could not build straight and have the corner like on the other sides. It just didn't allow me to build. 
Uh, the build is not yet finished, I know. It's, uh, it's huge, but it's not yet finished. I would like to extend this. The four uh, main entrances, actually, a little bit. And I was thinking of making it go straight to these three gates. And, yeah, make this all traps. Because down here is, as you can see, water. And it would be nice. Oh, there is a pillar up here. Oh, yeah, I needed one. Uh, yeah. I would like them to, if there is an invasion, try to have some choke points where they fall into traps and stuff like that. So, yeah, you have seen that this is built on the water. And I had to actually fill the lake with foundations. And some in some places, there is like three, four, five foundations deep into the water. I decided to go with foundations because I thought this was a little bit more sturdy than realistically having a, a ceiling or a floor on a pillar. So yeah, uh, the fur sides are similar. They are exactly the same, but I think this area, this section was the deepest section of the build. Yeah. So yeah, that, that all that happens. I probably need to clean up some stuff. But yeah, the whole pyramid build is foundations up until the bottom of the lake. So, let's have a run around the sea. This I still need to finish. But personally, I cannot make this yet. The blackstone things. Rito brought me some, but I don't have enough to finish it. And I would like to have this main entrance on every side to be those blackstone foundations or blackstone thingies. Um, I might probably in the future change a few things around with blackstone to try to spice out the build a little bit, break its monotony a bit. So the four... Uh, side pyramids uh, there is nothing in them on most of them I was thinking of maybe uh, using those as a, as a, what's it called a stable but I didn't do it in the end and I did not put the farm plots or the uh, the first idea was to put the uh, bonfires up here to extend the area of my build uh, yeah I didn't do it in the end, I broke them down again. I didn't really like it all that much and the main reason is because then I would have to build a roof on this as well because when it starts raining the campfire or the bonfire will get extinguished. The second idea was to use uh, this area for uh, the farming plots but I needed way more farming plots than four so I didn't uh, do that. So yeah, uh, main section always has a couple of stairs coming out of the waters for the first side pyramids, the first satellite pyramids, and the main entrances all look pretty much the same. I will show you the outside first and then we can go to the inside because the inside is definitely not done yet. So yeah, um, how did I do these big gates? Well, this was also something trial and error. I had to fiddle around with the, the, the gates and the big walls to make this main entrance because you can't really snap those to the rest of the build. They do snap to the gate, so once you have the gate in place, uh, it, it works as a, as a charm. Um, although, if you would see the streams or the... I don't, I don't know if I streamed this actually, but if you would see us build this... Yeah, we, we, we redid, this, redid this section I think 10 times. Uh, Ray to help me with that. He came with the idea of this actually, so yeah, we rebuilt that a couple of times. And he finished up putting in these uh, little tower thingies here. So yeah, every side main entrance has this main gate. And I started to decorate it with some torches. And additionally, I added some of these Firefly torches lanterns. Because I, they don't really need any fuel. And they give uh, off a dim light. I might even change uh, more of those out instead of those, uh, those other uh, standing torches. I will close this door again. So... Yeah. So that's the first floor of the pyramid area, the first tap of the pyramid. And I can show you the next one. The next one is similar, it's exactly the same, but a couple of blocks smaller. Again, I might change some look and feel here. Maybe I should change that into the, uh, the blackstone stuff. The main difference with the other floors is that every time you uh, go up one floor, the uh, steps on the side get a bit smaller as well and I tried to do something different with the stairs first they were equal to the roofs the sloped roofs but I didn't really like that so I wanted to add some I don't know some dimensions some yeah some depth to the build by uh, 
making them go out one block and then go down. It just looks a lot better. So yeah, these are the doors. And in here I did something strange too. You see there is a, a uh, what's it called? A, um, a fence inside the door. I kind of like it. It's, it's different than the other doors. It, yeah, I kind of like the, the look of it. So the next step, as I mentioned, is the same, but a little bit smaller. And then you have the top section of the pyramid, with, which is actually uh, currently has my uh, portal in here. So from here, I can travel to all the other sides of the pyramid. I'm not sure, maybe I should open this up. So it's a nicer view from the inside. The view from the pyramid is actually quite epic too. So I have a nice view on the barbarian camp up there. I have a nice view on everything, of course, it's now cloudy again, so it's probably going to start to rain in a couple of seconds again. Yeah, see, the, the clouds are setting in, so I'm pretty sure it will be raining in a couple of minutes. I am in what they call the wetlands, so rain here is expected all the time. But while it rains on the outside, maybe I can show you a little bit of the inside. Let's go to the top and start from there, actually, because the top is empty. It's easy to show you an empty room. So yeah, the top floor is kind of small, so it's not really being used yet. But I have, have thought about closing this off and making this separate rooms of some sort, maybe bedrooms. I'm not sure, or maybe have storage up here, but I, I don't really have my, want my storage so high because then people will have to walk up and down the stairs constantly. And I don't really want that. So there is no way currently to get down from this section to the floor below it because it's already very small. So every time you have to go to the outside and go one level lower and then go to, to the inside. So that's the main reason why I didn't really um, do anything up there. You know what? I'm going to try to hide the user interface. There you go. Might be a little bit better. So this is the middle floor. It's a little bit bigger. I add in some torches and some other things in here. So here there is some beds, some chairs. There is a dining table and as well, so people can rest here. I might be putting up some more chairs and beds up here. I'm not really sure. And there is a couple more beds in this area. There were some, some issues with the build and you can still see it up here actually. I had to put up these half walls up here, or full walls, but I didn't like the full walls. Um, so I had to put these up because people for some reason tried to get, my NPCs tried to get out here and they got stuck in this wall section constantly, constantly. And it only happens on this side. I don't know why, but I ended up putting up these little um, half walls and that stopped it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. The pathing sometimes in this game is a little bit strange. This, I could not figure out how to get a wall like this in without yeah, the rest, it didn't work. I couldn't do it. I don't know why. I could show you if I pick this one up, retrieve. Yeah, of course I broke two now. I will have to repair that. Crap. No, I broke the whole build. Okay, uh, let, let's try again. So in here, I wanted to have a section like, yeah, like this one. You know, but up here, I cannot figure out how to do it. Maybe if I put in a uh, a full wall on top, it will work, but then that will mess up the rest of the build. So yeah, I had to put in a full wall up here to get that ready. I will pick up a wall from downstairs and place it back in because otherwise I will forget and it looks ugly. Meanwhile, you see the rest of the build, the inside, but I will show you that in a couple of minutes. I still have a lot of walls because first I thought having a normal pyramid, not a step pyramid, so I made a lot of walls and then they turned up useless. But I might still be using them. I will explain in a couple of minutes why. Um, yeah, here there is one missing. So I need you to be one like this. So, from here on, there is a set of stairs going down, but there is also a viewing area on the middle section of the build. And this is actually where I will be putting up my, uh, my statues and stuff like that. Um, we started doing these gates and stuff, but 
yeah, I'm not really sure it was the best idea ever. I will explain in a couple of minutes. So let's go down to the bottom floor. Actually, we will go through the outside. It's a little bit more epic. And this is an epic build after all. So let's go in through the main gates, one of the main gates, and this is actually the section where I have all my crafting stations. So on this side I have everything related to leatherworking. So there is uh, this uh, animal thingy, leatherworking, there's boxes for it. There is the uh, uncraft station, and this is a box where I drop off everything I need or I have to uncraft. And this is actually the cooking section. So I have everything related to cooking and brewing up here. And yeah, I don't really have the ice to fuel this yet so that's uh, it's going to be next but I should have boxes full of stuff I have a lot of tomatoes I should get rid of those uh, where are my dishes actually didn't I have a box for dishes oh that's the one for dishes I find this strange they put the the, the tomatoes with the dishes which I think is kind of strange but yeah, I have a lot of stuff. There is also the grinder and the stuff for the alchemy up here. So here I should have a stock of stuff for um, alchemy. Yeah, I have a lot of a lot of tobacco or tobacco. Actually, I have a lot of stuff. Uh, I did start making some iron stuff as well because I reached the iron tier. And yeah, that's this section of the build. Then on this section, I will be putting away the walls. Actually, I don't really need those anywhere. There you go, makes me a little bit lighter. This is my construction area. So there is the carpenter's bench and the construction bench or builder's bench. Then up here I still have, because I, uh, I should probably fit that on the other side because it it's, it's goes with the, the cooking theme. But yeah, I placed it here. Then up here I have uh, the loom and some boxes for raw materials, processed materials and stuff like that. And up here I have the armor crafters and the weapon crafters and I have some boxes for uh, weapon crafting and armor, uh, armor and weapons. And yeah, I made some additional boxes earlier today because I'm separating the iron stuff from the old stuff and the old stuff I will probably get rid of at some point. Okay, then here on in this section, I will be putting up some more of those uh, wooden, what it's called, wooden kilns. Uh, maybe two more, but currently I have enough with those. I have my pottery station up here, and this is actually where the uh, metal gets melted. So I have my furnaces here. I have boxes for all raw materials. I have the big iron blaster thingy up there. So this is where we, we create all our metals which are then used by uh, the armor crafter and the weapon crafter and stuff like that. Then in this section I put up some uh, crafting stations related to everything mask related. So customizing your mask and stuff like that. Painting your mask. Then there is the stone tablet where I store my NPCs. And on this section I don't really have anything yet um, it's it's empty I'm probably gonna be have gonna going to have some uh, crafting stations up here later on because I'm still missing a lot and then every entrance has these blackstone foundations and the very center of the build is actually blackstone foundations as well and this is where people come to rest eat and where we have our uh, trophies hanging on these small wall sections and yeah I mentioned earlier we have these uh, What's it called? The gates, the stone gates uh, up here. But the main problem with those is you cannot really attach anything to it. So I had trouble finding a room or a place to put up those trophies. And in the end we decided, um, Retro actually did this. He put down some, uh, what is it called? Some half walls up there and we were able to stick our trophies to that. So yeah, it, it works out quite fine. I have a nice um, buff when I sit down. See, I have comfort level 5 by now. Um, I kind of wish they would show you uh, which items contribute to this comfort level. You, you could see that somewhere because I don't know if putting up a second of the same uh, trophy actually helps you or not. I don't know. I hope maybe it does because I already have some double summer. Yeah there I have two crocodiles or alligators up there although they look kind of different no they do look different because that's the the wall uh, yeah there's a, a monkey popping in popping out constantly I don't know why and this is the main section where people come to rest have a break and yeah I put up a bed in there because sometimes I pick up a an NPC and then I can drop him off up here 
so yeah this is the main build would have been cool if this top section was open as well but yeah i couldn't figure it out uh yeah also another thing we did actually let me get up so the build is very open inside and i kind of want that that at first because yeah i wanted to be able to see the the grandeur the size of this build and i didn't want to put walls everywhere but in the end it might have been better if we have had put up some walls in some places for decoration and stuff like that right now i had to put up my uh, torches on these um what's it called these uh, wall corner pieces it looks okay but yeah some walls to put in some decoration would be cool like i did up here for example and i think it turns out quite nicely adding some walls like this i put some half walls and then i put some um, triangle half walls on top of that and it kind of yeah it breaks things up a little bit oh yeah i forgot this is a uh, the stable area i might be moving the stable area into one of these um satellite pyramids because currently there is nothing in here actually it's just empty so yeah i might be doing that yeah in the future or maybe because i, I know there is um, electricity wind wind power at some point maybe i will need the room for that because if, if i want to win if i want to bring the wind power inside hmm, yeah i will have to think about that hmm. So yeah, meanwhile, night has fallen. So let's go out and maybe have a look around during the darkness of the night. I will bring you guys back once uh, night it has set in completely. Currently, the sun is setting over the pyramid. I do think it looks pretty darn nice. I'm quite proud of what I did actually and uh, thanks to Rita for helping me out with some sections and some materials because I'm pretty sure if I would have to do this all alone on my, on my own, I didn't have that many NPCs back then so yeah, it would have taken me a lot longer. Anyway, I will be bringing you guys back when uh, darkness has fallen. Okay, since it's now night time, I will go ahead and show you around a little bit how it looks like during the darkness of the night so yeah this is uh, one of the entrance um, gates i don't know how to call that in english um, and i'm walking on on the walls now so yeah this is the uh, the area where we have our farming setup ready uh, not only i have a lot more lights but they only seem to be uh, showing up when i get closer to them so yeah, this is one of the four main entrances where I have all my farming and other things. And if we go around, this is one of uh, the first satellite pyramids where I put up some lights and other things. So I, I might have explained it already. The idea was actually to put a bonfire up here to extend the, the range of, uh, of my bonfires. But yeah, that would mean I would have to put a roof on it because otherwise it will uh, be extinguished when, when it starts to rain and I didn't want to do that. So this is one of the other entrances. Everything has been mirrored. So the four sides are almost exactly the same with the suggestion of, uh, with the exception of the two uh, built areas where I could not build like one is in there where I have uh, that uh, what's it so the stone tablet thingy which is blocking me I was able to build around that and then on the other side we have in the other corner uh, we have that uh, what's it called the uh, elite crocodile of course so yeah I couldn't build there so this is how it looks from the first floor this was supposed to be a little uh, area where I could put up some arches and stuff like that in case of an invasion. They seem to be leaving op open their doors all the time, I don't know why. I might have to put the UI back, there you go. So I put some little, um, what's it called, the torches in here, but also the uh, firefly thingies. I started using those because those don't require any materials to fuel them and they give off a little bit of dimmer light, which I do like. So yeah, this is the view from the first level. Let's go up to the second level. Uh, here as well, I tried to do something different with the stairs. Normally, you try to put your stairs uh, equal to the uh, the uh, sloped roofs. I tried to do something else with this. Oh yeah, this also, I also like actually. Let me show you. Um, open up this if I can. 
no, I can't. Yeah. I do kind of like this, although I do open them from the inside normally. It's a door and I put some railings inside. It just gives a little bit of an extra touch to everything. Like you can still see it, barely, but you can. And I do like the effect it has. So yeah, this is the second level. A little bit of better overview on the whole site, the whole building sites. But it's similar to the level before that. It's just a little bit smaller. I also have this little watch card thingy. No, it's not watch card, but uh, you can put up some arches up here if you want to. And then the top level with, of course, the uh, portal, which I use to uh, travel around the area. Let's try to check from the inside now uh, at night. So yeah, open the door, close the door. This is the highest level. It's a little bit small here, but I should be able to put actually some some tables here, make some bedrooms. I don't know what I will be doing with that. As I mentioned, I might probably close up a few things. There is no immediate way to get down to the level below there. So let's take the stairs, close the doors. Oh, close the doors, I said. Okay, and let's go down to this level. From here, you should be able to access the bottom level as well. Okay. So in here, the only thing I have is a nice uh, area, a viewing area on the um, central room I have, where I have all my uh, tables and stuff. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay, wasn't the uh, so where I will be putting up all my uh, all my uh, statues. I will be putting up here and uh, things like that. But I did indeed start to use this as a little bit of an extra bedroom area with some additional beds there is in the other corner there is also a table with some uh, chairs and stuff like that where people can rest and feed and other things and from here i have no idea why this one is uh, stuck or something i will check that later on and from here i can access the bottom floor where i have all my crafting uh, equipment as I already mentioned uh, everything is a little bit uh, organized I know where to find stuff probably other people will not know where to find stuff and yeah it, it's turning out to be a little too big uh, I should have built it a little bit smaller because some areas yeah the, the bonfire doesn't really reach the uh, the whole area and some areas are now a little bit empty maybe later on I will have more crafting uh, things and then it will work but the look the view from the inside I like it, as, as I do uh, with the view from the outside, of course. Yeah, this is the area where people will chill. Um, I hope to be adding more of those later on, so I have a, a bigger bonus to my uh, comfort level. Yeah, so yeah, that's, uh, that's actually the build, guys. I, there isn't much more I can add to this. It's just, uh, yeah, it, it, it turned out to look really, really great in my opinion i like it i do really like it it's uh, one of my best builds i ever made as i mentioned it took me quite a couple of attempts to get everything right and yeah it, 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 it was really a pain in the butt to build in some places and some things i did not like the way it was and then i changed it back again and after a few times i got quite happy with this it's not perfect uh, i mean i would still change a few things as i've mentioned already with these uh, blackstone thingies i would i would add more that to of that to the build so it's uh, a little bit more broken up but yeah i don't have access to that myself and uh, that will have to wait until next time so i do hope you really enjoyed this uh, little build video um uh, too bad i didn't have a quick uh, what's it called the the sped up thingy of the whole build itself because it, it's it took a while I, uh, it, it took ages actually oh a tower is gone here must have had an attack look at this the sunrise over my pyramid just admit it this looks pretty darn epic i like it i love it uh i might change a couple of things later on but i friggin love this build I hope you did enjoy it as well. If you did, leave me a little comment in the comment section below. Throw me a subscribe and uh, push the thumbs up button. Give me a little like. Let me know what you would change in this build or what you would do different. Uh, if you can, please show off your builds. Uh, always nice to get some ideas from other people. Seeing their builds is something I like to do. It gives me some inspiration to do things on my build. And this will be it for today's episode. And until next time, guys, have fun. 
and stay safe. Bye-bye.